Let's show a, a pretty easy way to learn how to splice barbed wire. Here. Now I'm going to splice old wire that's a little rusty and brand new wire. And we'll see how well I get along. This doesn't work. I'm going to have to stretch it the whole way. But what I do is I strip the wire back. It'd be best if we get the barbs off, but that one's rusted right on. So, and what I do, strip the wires back about this far, say eight inches or so, eight to 10. And then I make it into a Y. Then I take the new wire and I do the same thing with that. Don't have any place to set the camera, so I hope you can see this. Make that into a Y. Then you take your two pieces of wire, two sections, you're gonna put them together like that. And you're gonna start with one section of wire, try and hold them tight together, and you're gonna wind that one way around like this. Try and keep your winds close together like that. Get off a little bit on that one. Then you take the other wire and you're going to go the opposite way with that. I'm going to wind right over top of it. keeping the wire tight, close together. Same thing on this. I'm gonna go underhanded with the first one. Keeping the wire tight, without overlapping it like that. There are other fancier ways of doing this, if you learn to tie fence knots, uh, I can do it, I'm not very good at it. This is the way I like to do it. It's easy, anyone can learn this, and it will hold. I'm gonna give a demonstration in a minute of how not to do it. And I usually dress all the ends of the wire down. I don't cut it off. Some guys cut it off. If it's there, I use it. And that's what it looks like when you're done. And as you pull that, it's only going to get tighter. Unlike, let me give you a little demonstration here. I wish that wire would stay on there. It's not going to. Hold on one second. One thing I don't like to see in splicing fence is when guys do this. They make a loop in one end. Then they feed the other end, or the other wire rather, through it like this and make a loop with that. That is not a good splice, not good at all. You're only holding at these two points right here, where this splice is holding all the way from here to here. And the harder you pull on that, the tighter it's gonna get. 
Uh, the wire will break somewhere else before you will break that splice. Guarantee it. So that's how to splice barbed wire. That's how not to splice barbed wire. I have my 520 John Deere set up so that I have this steel shaft run through the three point and will unroll the wire as I go. It would work better if I could be on the uphill side of the fence. That's a freshly planted field. I don't want to be driving on it. So we're going to drive along on the lower side and it's going to crowd the three point here. I need something like a piece of plywood with a hole in it or something just to keep the wire from rubbing on these contact points on the three point. So this may not go real well, but we're going to give it the old acid test or in this case, the jack acid test. So we're going to go this far up here to where the gate is. The gate is shut. I'm going to pull the wire up there so I can get a good measurement on how long to have it. Then I'm going to cut it. I'm going to put the stretcher on it. Stretch. We're going to start with the bottom wire. Start with the bottom wire and work your way up. 